Hello guys, I am back. A bit late with this video, I'm afraid. Hopefully I will upload it today so that you're not missing out if you're even interested, folks. But I, like I mentioned in my previous, well, in my ALS video slash Shaka Mary Tooth Disease, my mum has Shaka Mary Tooth Disease. And I thought I would kind of go into a little bit more detail with it. I wanted to kind of talk to my mum, like personally, like with you, See, but she's kind of a bit nervous about being in front of the camera and she's not really feeling very well today so I thought I'd just kind of talk about some of the things that's kind of she's been affected by with this disease and just to kind of give you all a little bit more awareness about it because it's not a particularly common disease and not many people know much about it but I thought I would mention it so you all know a little bit more if anyone sees it but yes yeah. So, like I've previously mentioned, my mum um, has suffered disease for quite a long time. About when my little sister was born, it was kind of just after that. And she's, what, 20, almost 21 this year. So, for about 20 years she's had it now. Um, and obviously it's something that gradually gets worse and worse over the years. Um, it starts off kind of being unusually clumsy for your age. So, you know, just dropping things, walking into things, tripping over things. I'm quite a clumsy person, but it's it's kind of being clumsy for your age. Like, you would expect someone a lot older to you, older than you to be clumsy like that. So it kind of, that is what sort of started off. It is a lot related to nerve damage, and kind of the sensation of that can be a really debilitating thing. If anyone has ever damaged a nerve anywhere in their body, like... I had, it's a little bit sad, I've got like a scar on my finger here and there was some nerve damage on that and sometimes when there's a lot of pressure put on it, it's kind of like an electric shock that runs through your finger kind of thing. Imagine that but being like all over your body, I mean that is like painful and it's not just like a quick shock either, it just kind of goes through your whole body and it is literally so painful and like I feel so bad sometimes and my mum is like in so much pain there's not really anything you can do to help for that kind of thing it's literally kind of like being electrocuted all over your body and it's really sucks basically um and because of the kind of nerve damage it makes it difficult for you to build muscle and oh, getting messages there uh leaves <laughs> it, it affects your muscle basically and can cause your muscle to waste down a lot which also then makes things more difficult, having the energy to do things. Uh, in a lot of people, it can cause, I mean, it will in turn kind of causes joint pain because of not having muscle or the cartilage can get damaged and that can cause joint pain. It can cause breathing problems. It can cause fatigue, which obviously, you know, being tiredness. It especially affects the hands and the feet. Um, a bit of an indicator as to whether you may have it, it's not like the be all and end all, but if you've got like quite arched feet, that can be an indicator of having the disease, um, which can obviously make it difficult wearing certain types of shoes, because it can, it affects your balance, you get muscle spasms, I mean if anyone's ever had a muscle spasm before, you know that is very painful, I mean even like if you, for a normal person just getting it in maybe just your leg or something like that your calf muscle is tend to be like the place where it gets it most it is very painful so imagine getting that again like all over your body both your legs and your arms you know how that is painful stuff right there you know and there is no cure for it you know there is no cure for it at the moment i don't know if there ever will be i would like to hope by raising awareness raising money for it that maybe there one day will be a cure but that's no guarantee of that um, like with the like I was just saying before with the effect on your feet and the, the nerve damage it, you can lose a lot of sensation in places so sometimes like like with my mum you sort of sometimes like around here if you touch there she can't actually feel it because the nerve damage has just affected the sensation in your feet or like if you tickle her feet or something she can't feel it you know what I mean and it's very it's a bit of, it's really sad and it's a big struggle for her to do a lot of things you know even like getting dressed can be a bit of a challenge at times doing up buttons and things like that can be very difficult because obviously they're a bit fiddly if your hands aren't working properly then you can't you can't do that you know 
and it's just like it really is not very nice basically but uh, you know she always tries and say positive despite all of that she is one of the most positive people i know she does try really hard if, like everyone she has their down days but you know there's not a lot you, you know you can do about that it is a hereditary disease so me and my sisters could also get it as well but i mean my mum did say that it can skip generations so we, me, we, we might not get it but if we have children they might have it it's just kind of the luck of the draw really um, it's a bit strange because none of my mum's other family members no one else has the disease um, I'm going to start saying that a lot now no one else in my family has the disease so that's a bit strange it kind of sort of came out of nowhere but m me or my sisters could get it we might not you never know but fingers crossed it will be okay and we'll all, see, we'll all try and help her as much as possible. I really hope that this little video has helped open your eyes a little bit to what this disease is and how it can affect you. It's one of those things that you know you just have to live with and manage as best you can with painkillers and just trying to stay positive. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful to you and useful to you. Please comment if you suffer with this disease yourself and you you know feel like you want to speak up because you know it's always good to hear from other people and then i can show my mum and then it might make her feel a bit better that there are other people and how they deal with it as well but yes please leave a comment like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see hear more about this disease or perhaps other issues i've got a few issues i can talk to you about if you want <laughs> bullying, anxiety, that sort of thing. Um, but let me know. Like I said, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. I'm going to start off with this new sign off. Hope you're all ready for this. <laughs> Remember to behave yourselves, guys. I am the law. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.